Psychedelic drugs have been known to cause some peculiar and offbeat hallucinations in people, yet DMT is the one substance which has gained a reputation to incite visuals of a similar nature. DMT is a mind-altering molecule that regularly provokes realistic encounters with otherworldly beings, including those famously described by ethnobotanist Terence McKenna as self-transforming machine elves. The entities that people have claimed to have seen after ingesting DMT are strikingly similar, and scientists are attempting to understand why. Dr. David Luke, author of DMT Entity Encounters, said, Encounters are really common. Among the most common are little people, be they elves, dwarves, or pixies. Also included in the cast of characters summoned by DMT are giant praying mantises, that are typically experienced leaning over you and doing some weird operation on your brain. While this might sound like a nightmare scenario, a recent study co-authored by Luke found that people most commonly describe these entities as benevolent, with only 8% perceiving them as malicious. Many claim to have received messages from these entities about the nature of reality, while others gained more banal insights, including one person who received instructions on the rules of the NFL. DMT experiences can translate quite strongly into metaphysical and theological shifts. Indeed, more than half of the respondents to the Johns Hopkins study who identified as atheist before their encounter no longer claimed to be so afterward. As unbelievable as all this may sound, 81% of respondents said their encounter felt more real than anything they had ever experienced previously, with two-thirds continuing to believe in the existence of these entities even after the effects of the drug had worn off. So what's going on here? Could DMT really be some sort of hotline to another dimension? Or are these experiences merely the product of aberrant brain activity? One explanation is that DMT stimulates regions of the brain which give rise to both the visual aspect of a being and also the experience of sensed presence. While it goes without saying that these drug-induced encounters are underpinned by neurobiology, it's very difficult to account for certain highly typical experiences, such as having one's emotions harvested by a giant praying mantis. A host of alternative explanations have been put forward, ranging from the psychological to the mystical. Ultimately though, none of these explanations are satisfactory for a variety of reasons, and it's best to keep an open mind as to the nature and origin of DMT entities.